Forces of the occupying Israeli regime killed five Palestinians in raids carried out in the early hours of Sunday, September 26, in the West Bank and Jerusalem. Palestinian authorities described the move as a massacre and called on the international community to prosecute the perpetrators. We have more details in the following report with our correspondent Hisham Wanas. Raids carried out in several towns in the north and west bank and Jerusalem resulted in clashes and shootings that claimed the lives of five Palestinians. The Zionist regime in Tel Aviv claims that the operation was aimed at arresting militants of the Palestinian resistance movement, Hamas, who were allegedly planning imminent attacks against Israeli occupation troops. This aggression marks the beginning of a new large-scale violent escalation that is part of a political process by which the Israeli Prime Minister, Naftali Bennett, wants to make clear his response to Madhud Abbas' speech at the United Nations and his one-year ultimatum to complete the withdrawal of Israeli troops from Palestine and the end of the occupation. One of the five corpses was escorted to his final resting place, while the remaining four were withheld by Israeli troops. The Palestinian National Authority denounced a new massacre, which it warned could lead to an escalation of the situation especially since Hamas, in addition to promising a forceful response, called on the residents of the West Bank to rise up in support of the resistance against the new Israeli aggression. We denounce that the so-called international community is acting in a biased way in defense of the Israeli entity and against the Palestinian cause, and in this context we criticize that it remains silent in the face of this new aggression that resulted in the martyrdom of several of our Palestinian brothers. This aggression is in revenge for the recent escape of the five hero prisoners in an operation called the Road to Ag Quds, and we promise that our response to this crime will be swift and this response will be strong on a part of all factions and brigades of the Palestinian resistance. Simultaneously, over 600 settlers stormed the Al-Aqsa Mosque in occupied Jerusalem under the protection of Israeli troops, provocative acts that the Palestinian authorities denounced, together with the raids, the executions which, according to UN figures, claimed the lives of 321 Palestinians from January to September the 20th, as well as arbitrary arrests, house demolitions, and the construction of new settlements, predict a serious deterioration of the situation and an unprecedented escalation of tensions in the occupied Palestinian territories.